So you want to make a spring-based grappling hook system like it is in Unity? Well, I got you covered with my new add-on. First, you will want to go to the asset library and search for Destro Hook. There, you will find my add-on, which you will want to download to your project. After that, go to Add-ons, Destro Hook, Scenes, and Example Hook where you will find the test scene with the hook system already implemented. Then you go to Project, Project Settings, Input Map. Here you can copy my inputs or you can change the names in the script or in the export of the input names you are using. If you did everything like I did, you will be able to move around and test out the default hook system. But you don't want to use my default hook system, you want to implement your own. Well, the first thing you can check out is the player, where you can find some settings related to how the player moves around, as well as variabilities you can tweak, each with a bit of a comment for what they do. But the most important part about the player is the fact that he's using a smooth controller, with acceleration and deceleration, with just the whole reason the player can't walk away from the hook. On the player, there's also this custom node called Hook Controller, which has the script on it with all the hook physics and logic. On it, you can also change the controls, some references and a few variables. If we open up the hook scene, we can find this, a suspiciously floppy rope and hook. On it, you can find the script which handles the visual side of the hook as well as the rope mesh, which if we inspect, we can find a special shader. This shader handles the floppy effect and where you can also play around with a few variables that change how it looks. You can also boost yourself towards the hook with the jump button while hooking, or change the length of the hook with the scroll wheel or whatever you set it to, or even disable or remove it. And if you can't find a custom node, you will need to enable the add-on in project settings under plugins. There's not much beyond these three scripts and shader. At this point you can inspect how the script works yourself and read the numerous comments I left which mostly describe the workings. Use the add-on as you desire and check out my other work. Farewell.